Hey guys, John Moxie here, back with our blind playthrough of Salt and Sanctuary. I know I'm I'm wearing the same shirt. This is all in the same day uh recording. Just uh you know, shaved and cut the hair and all that. I uh I think I've mentioned it before, but I'm trying to record a bunch of episodes because um the next uh four to six weeks are about to become really uh, busy. You know, the next two weeks from this point forward are going to be like tons of work and then uh, a week and a half to two weeks after that it will be vacation slash more super busy days. So I'm trying to record this so that I can basically cover the next month uh, while being unable to record. So, so there you go. I'm almost there. I think I'm on halfway through week three at this point. Which is fine. That's enough for me at this point. Hmm. I was drinking some, um, some sake earlier. And, uh, just didn't Maybe it's the flavoring or something. I, w I didn't really react quite favorably to it. But, um, so I'm just having some tea right now. Kind of settle the stomach a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm still a little tired. So it's caffeinated. Wake me up. Plus help deal with some of the congestion from all the allergies. Now, giant great sword. Oh, what I need to do is switch to... this. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. It actually appears to use less stamina holding it two-handed, which is interesting. Um, but I don't, I don't know where I'm going at this point. This way, or not that way, I should say. down here. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea how to get there. Maybe later. What is this? Oh, trap? Yeah, good call. A head pain. It's alright. It's okay. And then, uh... This wasn't where... Whatever, we'll go this way. This wasn't where the, um, Queen of Smiles was. Ooh, that's... Hits hard, but it... Ooh, oh, oh! Oh, combo-ish, kind of. Wait, can you hold this? Yes, you can. Well. Wait, what is that right there? Oh, that's the, the tombstone of someone that died previously. Wait, there was a knight here. Yeah. And up here is... I don't, uh... Oh, right. Well, well, oh, ouch. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Tunnel across beware. That's right. That's right, we went up there, and... Was there a... Oh, it's the other way. Where, um... Oh, 
I'm totally drawing a blank on where I'm supposed to be going. It was up, right? It was it was up. Wait, what is this? Was that there before? What is that? Looks like a dead body. Like a knight or something? Right. Oh. Okay, so this was where the... Like, down, down there is the, um... I have to re-familiarize myself with the area. Ooh, okay. Ooh, hey there, friend. That's red shard. Nice. I haven't really been using any of those extra healing items, but um, I won't turn it down. Ah, well, that was too early. There you go. Oh. Heater shield. There you go. Ah. He exploded. That's cool. Ah. So you have to... Ah. Well, that's... not hmm arrows yeah this thing is definitely slower but I'm basically okay with that <clears throat> what was this way again um I don't know how you did that, but okay. It's trying to grab it. Nope. Anyway. Right. Oh, right. That's not a pit. Something that I think is maybe missing is uh, the ability to rate or, you know, if you, the people that leave the messages and stuff, it's kind of helpful to get stuff from them, but maybe that's too, maybe that's too much. Deadly monster below. Yep. Oh, right, right, right. I assume she stays dead. Let's hope so. Alright. What's with all the dead bodies, anyway? Alright. Time to go down here. Let's click on the wall just to make sure. Hmm. Bunch of dead bodies. Now the question is... Are these... It's a chest. Is it a mimic? Can I hit it? Alright, so no. Iron pot, chef's trousers... So this is where the chef died. Let's read. Okay. Oh yeah, we never read the blacksmith stuff. A thick leather a thick leather apron worn by blacksmiths at the forge. It is designed to absorb intense sparks and cushion minor impacts, but is insufficient for turning aside purposeful blows from real weapons. Thick leather gloves worn, worn by blacksmiths to protect their hands from the searing heat of the forge. 
Uh, while indispensable for preventing burns, they are less than ideal for deflecting attacks. Uh, reinforced boots of thick leather worn by blacksmiths. They provide reliable protection from hot coals and stubbed toes, but are woefully inadequate for use in combat. Chef's toque. Toque? Toque? I don't know how you pronounce that. A uh, distinctive hat worn by chefs as a symbol of their trade. Despite its rather odd appearance, it serves the entirely practical purpose of keeping its wearer's hair safely out of his guest's soup. A filthy apron. Cooking for peasantry was dirty, grueling, and unfulfilling work, but that didn't keep the average chef from lording his status when possible. After all, any man can reach a point where a salt potato is more valuable than a kingdom. Oh, don't be. What are you? Where are you going? You don't want to be in my lap anymore? Is it because I was touching your ears? He has cute ears. Adorable, cute ears. That was Jack. Simple cloth trousers. And then... Oh yeah, heater shield. So is this rated by class? No. What? Uh, how do you sort? What determines the sort order? I don't know. I'm really hungry all of a sudden. I don't know why. A uh, lighter and more maneuverable adaptation of the older kite shield. Constructed from wood overlaid with a thin sheet of leather or steel, shields of this style are a staple among fighting forces of all sizes. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And can be found on virtually every battlefield throughout the continents. A cast iron pot used for reducing stock simmering stews. And, in a pinch, cracking skulls. It's got a long handle, too. I'm yawning, I know. Let me drink more of this tea. Um, it's got a long handle, so presumably you can put it on the fire. The ones used these days have a, a short handle used for the stove. I have a cast iron skillet. It is awesome. It's not useful for cooking everything, but I use it for my meats. The only problem is when you... Uh, it holds the heat really well, but the problem is that it's really thick and iron is slow to absorb heat. So when you put even room temperature, like I, you know, I, I you get like a steak or something and I, uh, I leave it out for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, uh, do the dry rub or whatever. But then when you put it in the cast iron skillet, the meat absorbs all of the heat from the skillet and it's really hard to transfer the heat back in quickly. Um, without overheating the pan. I guess you have to, maybe if you could, you know, use it like over a flame and then move it on and off to keep the uh, temperature consistent. You could probably do that, but, you know, I use a, it's a coil stove. It's not, uh, it's not super, it's not super high tech. It's pretty, pretty low budget or standard budget, I would say. Did we get anything else? Also, I don't know why this icon look on the on the top little bar. It looks like handcuffs to me instead of rings. But, you know, whatever. Well then. Okay. Despite the yawning, I'm having a great time. Okay, so we have some stairs down this way that go deeper. Which is probably where we're supposed to continue going. But for now... Oh man, we have another set of stairs. I only wanted one. To be... Yeah, I mean, you know. Okay, this is good. Black Pearl, right on. And I was here earlier, I think. Ah, oh, the sanctuary is just up there. Right on. Okay. I gotta say, also, I never really noticed it before, but the fire from the torches looks amazing. It's sputtering, it's... looks oily, like the oily 
rags or whatever that they soak it in pitch or something. Okay, where do you go? Have I been here before, or is this where I was trying to go earlier? Ooh, that could have been bad. Um, yeah, alright, let's... Okay, well, presumably, this is like a floating thing. Blood flower charm. We have a... Okay. That's what this does. Or that little slot. What are the charms? Where are the charms? It's a ring. Okay. A metal charm painted red. The blood flower plant has long been used as a red pigment in dyes and paints, but the superstition tying it to bloodlust is relatively recent. Warriors may don blood flower painted arms, but a dress dyed in blood flower would be considered to be in poor taste. Increases attack power. Yes. Let's uh, do that. I could have sworn... Okay. I kind of skimmed through the, the achievements real fast because um, I was just curious and I thought equipping a charm was one of them, but, but uh, maybe not. What... Uh, what if I unequip this? Attack 32.1. That works. And also you can have another one here. Presumably so you could be like offensive and defensive. Or maybe, um, you know, sword and magic. Okay. Now... I'm kind of holding like up and the direction as well because I really don't want to fall and get killed. That would not be good. Okay, so. You know, a map would be amazing. Another obelisk. Alright, presumably it creates a bridge or a ladder, because I can't reach that. Can you jump farther if you have less weight? Let's find out. Um, it looks like you jump farther, but not higher. Whoa! Hadouken! Is that the uppercut? Yeah, I don't know. Can you do, like, fighting moves? Like... No. I'd be curious to do... I... You know... The whole... Because I've never done an unarmed, like, Dark Souls thing. To be fair, I've only done a few. I've done, like, two playthroughs of each. Basically, one, two, and three. Um. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, the charm is on the end of the thing now. See, like, look, we... Boom, there it is. It's on the... It's hanging from the... Is that the pommel? The ball at the end of the hilt? Oop, there it is. See, if I two-hand it, you can see it a little better. Uh, except... You know. There it is. Okay, so we can't go this way. This is another way that we're kind of stuck. So we're gonna get, like, the Lord Vessel or something that unlocks all of the obelisks. Or, possibly, you get individual things, like, you may unlock one obelisk. Can you imagine that? Alright, I'm thinking... I don't know, but I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified to keep going. Oh, it's so dark. Alright. Oh. Oh. If you block, that's it. Alright, well, let's... 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we can go up there. That's a dude. Let's go talk to the dude. Hoy, traveler. Well met. This dude looks like an unarmed guy, like a monk. Call me Fern. I've been hiding out here for some time. Seen any trinkets? I lost a small pouch of earth. I was going to say patch, and then I was like, no, 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 that's pouch. So my brain was able to fix it. That's why it's like, pouch. <laughs> Is earth like salt? Yes. Need bag of earth. I don't have it. Or no. Shame. Well, if I find it, I will give it to you. Presumably, Warhorn, Warhorn. Bundle of salt. Um, I, was it Morrowind or something? I, I've only played a little bit of Morrowind, although I've acquired about 50 hours in it just because I restarted. I've restarted it like a few times and I can never get past the first city just because I, I hit it. And then I'm like, there's so much to explore, so much to do, and I get overwhelmed because I don't want to just... You could just follow the quest and go straight to that one dude's house, but I want to... Wow, my arm looks really weird when I did that. I'm like, what Um But it's like, the dude's house that you're supposed to go to is like in the middle of the city, and it's like a city. You know, so you go down the street and there's all these houses, I'm like, I want to go into every house and talk to everybody and, and see what's going on, and... I'm just like, ah, so I, I stop. Um, but there was this one quest, like, right at the beginning to get a, uh, like a, like, stolen armor back. And it's, like, really amazing armor. And I'm like, I want to keep it. I want to use it for myself. I don't want to turn the quest in. And if you go talk to him again, it's like, here's the armor. You just give it up. Which is kind of a shame. Maybe you can give it up and then kill the dude to take it back. I don't know. Or maybe pick it up, like, to steal it and then drop it before they arrest you. That's an option. Okay, so I feel like we've been here before. Um, let's see where this goes rather than keep going down. Or maybe we haven't been here before. Where is this? This looks familiar, except for... What are these things on the... on the trees? Oh! Oh no! No, no, no! No, no! Oh, jeez, that's... oh, that's... See, I knew... I'm... that's poisoned. Well, that's crap. See, I knew it, too. I saw it, and I'm like... Tried to hit it. No luck. Can I hit it still, or is it going to fall? Oh. Oh, you can hit it. Okay. Raptor visor. So that thing's a raptor then. Frozen doll. We're still in the same area, though, right? Like, because I still have the same benefits and little bonuses and stuff. Oh, crap! So I, I jammed the attack button and the thing, like, exploded. But, um... Okay, what's going on with this? Is this... Like, I'm immune from poison? Is that what that is? Because I... Punched it off of me. Let's check out this raptor visor thing. Oh, and the warhorn. I didn't look at the warhorn. A carved warhorn. Its sound can be heard in lands where only spirits dwell, where ghosts of the ancient warriors patiently listen. They cannot directly afford. <clears throat> they cannot directly affect the world of the living, but they can still inspire, sending across realms the same ferocity they once carried into battle. Sound it to rapidly regain stamina. I mean, I assume it's a consumable. Right, that makes sense. To rapidly regain stamina. So it's got to be like a buff. 
The Raptor Visor is where? Is it a crafting item? No. Bronze Visor of the Vile Hawks. Vile Hawks viewed themselves as birds of prey, hunters of the vole like peasantry. Light armor. You know, light armor might be good. I mean, just in addition. Okay, there's another one. What is that up there? Or over there, for that matter. Oh, that could have been bad. Mossy charm. Another charm. Okay, ooh, don't fall. And another raptor. Man, this goes up. Antidote. There you go. And pouch of salt. We will unequip the pouch of bag of salt, whatever. Antidote. Quaff to cure poisoning. I love that word, quaff. And uh, what else did we pick up? We picked up something. Right, I know. Super helpful. I picked up something. Uh, yes. A cleverly crafted living charm. Its wood core is infused with an earthen paste on which living moss grows. Increases attack speed. I think that's going to be way better than just damage. For me, because the greatsword is so slow. Uh, it doesn't say... But we'll, uh... Oh, that's way better. Instead of, like, kind of... Um... Let me drink some. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. So it's about two seconds per... It itself is shorter, and then jump and catch. Thank you. Another chest. One of these is going to be a mimic. Crimson culottes, gloves, tabard, and hood. So another... An elegant cloth hood. Where's the rest of the armor? Elegant cloth vest. It won't do much good against physical attacks, but its magical enchantment enchantments make it a powerful ward against elemental danger. This is probably the mage. The mage's gear. And then possibly up is... Yeah, we were here before somewhere. Can I push you into the... There you go. Watching woods. Lock of hair, right on. But the watching woods... So when I went... When I was down below before it... Triggered the name, it was telling me... Uh, I had the blessings. Or whatever. Right, see, this area looks familiar. Village of Smiles. Is this at the bottom? Okay. Right, I'm like super... Not super confused, just mostly confused, I suppose. Um, so I don't want to go that way... just yet. Uh, we'll level up, why not? Okay, Tree of Skill. Um, where's Light Armor? Right there. Uh, however... Uh, let's see. What do I want? What would be good? Um... Willpower for extra stamina is good. Strength is good. Uh, 
let's see. Prayers and wisdom scaled weapons, that doesn't really help. Spells. Endurance. It, it wouldn't be a bad thing to be able to get light armor as well. Of course, here's an additional healing potion, which would be good. Uh, another one right here, but, you know, you kind of have to go backwards to get it. Uh, what else? There is another healing potion right here. And honestly, picking up these, picking up these would probably be best, just overall. Uh... There's one, of course, over here. So let's... Let's go for this one first, I think. I mean, unless you just want to pick up that. You could do the whips, which do willpower, and then the light armor. Uh... Man, I don't know. So much to choose from. Let's go for the potion, just to be on the safe side. Uh, we'll get this, and, uh... Because endurance is good. And then strength. Oh, let's read the, uh... The hero's name was Agari of Nort. Uh, of Nort Hamero clan. He bore the evil witch's work, Igari's missing hand. The tale of Valkarum stands at 14. Uh, the flame's heat had dwindled, but that's what the bellows were for. He definitely sent a few blasts of air into the fire, bracing for the satisfying roar of heat that would return. The Smith's Apprentice, page 14. Okay, next is the poultice pouch. Yeah. I mean, you know. Actually, the chef's thing is pretty good against poison, which might be helpful for the area that we're going. But, uh, it'll be fine. Alright, um... Man... There's going to be a lot of me wandering around aimlessly, I think. Well, I mean, that's... that's me. Me being silly is what that was. Ooh. Good job blocking myself. Oh. I love that. I love how you just like smash them into bits and they just like go everywhere. Yes. Okay, another wolf. Two wolves. Wolves are bad. Is there a trap? Yes. But we blocked it, so that's good. Okay. Oh! Well, that's why the poison stuff would be handy. I wonder if there's, like, regeneration stuff in this. Yep, 
you know, things that make you regenerate. I know that probably should have been obvious, but, uh, you know. Alright, which way... Yeesh. Ooh, okay. What was left? Left was... Right, Shivering Shore. Oh. Oh, he just got... Just got destroyed by the archer, probably. Must have been weakened, because he had some... You know, decent stuff. Why do... I don't understand why my left... Glasses. Glass, whatever you call it, gets uh, smudged so freaking easily. All right. Um, I mean, we could we could go through here. Pop out the other side. Ooh, you cheeky, cheeky dude. Where? Oh! Uh, I hate how they come through the floor. I see. That's the... It's not poison until it fills up. And then you're poison and then, you know... It, like the standard Dark Souls thing. Makes sense. Hmm. <coughs> What are you going to tell me? Secret. What? Whoa. Okay. You are not wrong. You are awesome, in fact. Lightning bolt and torch. Spells. Spells. You know. Although it's not... I guess I would come here eventually. Or not. Okay, nice and easy. What is that? That's a hidden boss or some shit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Great. Okay, well, uh... We can see it. Holy poop. I'm gonna heal. Ouch. I'm only doing nine. Ooh, I got stunned there for a second. Ouch. Quickly heal. And hopefully that doesn't... Okay. Okay, ouch. Yep, tried to two-hand it there. That didn't work out so great. There we go. Yeah, he, he was speeding up too. What is this? Stained page? Stone mage. Alright, well. That works for me. Is there anything else? I mean... I guess people just check every wall. That's kind of cool. I probably should. Probably should do that just to... Man, how many times did I go past this, too, right? Hello, friend. Trinkets to sell. See, now he has the armor. Wait. Tarnished Coronet. Class 3 light armor. Why? Was this from, uh... 
Like, is this the Sodden Knight stuff, and then this is the Queen of Smiles stuff? This guy's, uh, what's his face? Oh, you should What's his, you know, the guy that sells all the weird stuff in the depths? Was it the depths? Something like that. Anyway. Yep. Yep. Okay, there you go. That's your boss stuff. Right on. That looks pretty cool. Each thing is 2,000. Well... I wouldn't mind wearing this. Oh, uh, hang on. Yep. God's bless. Oh. It's totally pitch black underneath. Uh, yeah. Okay. Looks like we'll need to increase our... Stuff, you know, that's the technical term is the stuff. Endless fang, right on. Another, right, another obelisk festering banquet. I was up there earlier, I think. I don't, what's the time? 42. Bandits Pass. No idea how to get up there. Or maybe it's more that we have to... fall from above. We'll try that. Wait, can I add a... No, you can't. You have to take Oath if you want to... add, uh, things. Alright, so what we're going to try doing... Oh, hey, there's something else right there. But we can't reach it. Because there's an obelisk. But what we can do is... Uh, fall and get this one. Flanged mace. There we go. Uh, can we... Cool. Let's look at the flanged mace. Sturdy iron mace with an elegantly flanged head designed to concentrate the force of its impact. Lethal and easily handled in spite of, or perhaps thanks to, its simplicity, it is partially effective against armored or otherwise brittle opponents. A hammer. Strength S. Right on. Right on. Class 0 hammer. Yeah, drops my attack by half, but... You know, you could probably attack with it more effectively, right? So... Yeah, way faster. But that said, you know. Oh, interesting. The S's are not the same, right? This has S, but this has a lower S. Regardless, it's cool. Probably has a longer range, too, I would think. Um, okay, so... We're... Uh... Stained page? Yeah, whatever. Just hit that just to... Just to save. Oh, we can level up, though. I guess let's do that. Uh, no. No. Tree of Skill. Right, because we're going for the extra... Gain additional healing potion. Yes. Bloody but yet resolute and under light of moon. <clears throat> he tended scrapes and minor wounds. His journey could resume. The tale of Velcrom stands at 27. Boom. Up to six potions. Or Estus or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so this is where we kept going, and then there was an obelisk at the end, right? Ay! Ouch! Uh, 
All right. What's up, friends? Ouch. Ouch. Well. Ow. Oh, but I still... Still got it off. Ouch. I need healing again, Jesus. So does that give extra salt when you kill him? I wonder. Yeah, I think extra stamina would be good as well, but you know, it's another thing to add to the list. Holy crap, dude! I guess let's heal a little bit more. Man! Okay, what was in here again? Is this the way to the... Ah! Okay, this is the other one. Where you can go down or... Oh, crap! I'm terrible. Or another dark area. So basically two more areas, presumably, to go to. I mean, it's interesting, right? The exploration is interesting, and yet... There's times when I'm just like, man, I wish I had a map. What's going on, dude? The key, however, now that's a different story. Oh, wait, was I supposed to keep talking to him? I guess so. Perhaps you should... You should search the area below those seaside ruins where a forgotten feast festers. I think it always helps to go back to the start. But you started off this island. Can't go back there, can you? Okay, so maybe the... The smiles or village of smiles or whatever is where we we're supposed to go but it couldn't hurt to go back to the very beginning see if there's anything back that way I guess we'll see we'll head back to the um head back to the very first one Just running. Indeed. 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 The souls of lords moldering in their thrones. Or some, I don't know. Right, so the festering banquet, they're talking about going below this. Which is where we were, the village of smiles. Still. Nothing wrong with... Rotten Walker's ear. I guess I could go in that doorway too. I don't remember. <clears throat> it's one of those things where... Dark Souls seems... just really convoluted and stuff until you play it a bunch of times and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm going here, I'm going there. <clears throat> That's what this kind of feels like to me right now. Just like I'm like, where am I? Where am I supposed to go? Just a little overwhelmed, you know. Just touch this real fast. And then view inventory, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the little tutorial section.
And there was a dude. There was a dude right here, wasn't there? Huh. Those footprints, or footsteps, sounded weird. I had this weird, like, thought when I started making the footprints, or the footsteps in the water. I'm like, is that gonna call something? You know, am I... Is it... There are gonna be some giant monster that comes at me because of that? I suppose there could. There could still be. All right, well, let's stop here. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I'll probably record another episode or two today just because I'm having a lot of fun with the game, actually. Um, I hope you guys are having just as much fun. I know I'm probably not super talkative, um, you know, it, it really depends on the game. Sometimes I'll I'll talk more to the camera. Other times I'll just be like so focused on the game, and I'll I'll be kind of you know maybe not not talking too much. And this is probably more of the latter, uh, but that just shows like how interesting I find the game and how it just like sucks you in, and you really have to like focus and pay attention. Um, but I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are as well. Anyway, uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's actually, I mean, I mentioned drinking that the last of that orange sake. That's another uh, bottle off the shelf, basically. So, like, countertop, I'm in kind of a small, smallish apartment, uh, which is which is fine, but it's a little bit bigger than my last one, but the, the countertop and cabinet spaces and that sort of thing in the kitchen is is smaller. I went from having like a full kitchen area to like half of a kitchen. So having a lot of extra bottles of alcohol that are like half drunk takes up, you know, takes up space. So I finally finished off that orange sake. So that was good. Uh, glad to be glad to be done with that one. I mean, it, it tasted OK, but. You know, I'm glad it's through. It doesn't need to be there forever. Uh, anyway, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully you guys, I'm reaching over and like petting Jack, who's sitting right next to me. Uh, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully you guys are just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.